Hello everybody, it's That One Sock and welcome back to my channel. Now, it has been a minute since my last upload. I apologize. Listen, I've been doing college. I got some stuff in my life going on. And listen, I got you guys the post-rotation Meow Scarada EX. I also have post-rotation Cofagrigus, which I'm very excited to show you guys. And I'm also cooking up post-rotation United Wings. So <laughs> this stuff is coming eventually. But for, for once... Uh, for starters, we got post-rotation Miascarada. Now, I have tried multiple builds of Miascarada for post-rotation. I tried one with Fluttermane. I tried one with 1-1 one, one Arceus because I'm trying to save deck space. The deck space for Miascarada is very tight, so I've been trying to cut down on space for the most part. Uh, the deck space is very tight on Miascarada, so I've been trying to cut down on, uh, on the pure necessities to make sure that it goes as smoothly as possible. And I think I've now gotten to a list that I really like. Um... So I'm going to show you guys, I am using some of the new cards, like not, not too many new cards, but you know, enough to, for that, it really makes a difference. And the deck plays really nicely. There's one card in here that I'm really excited about. And uh, yeah, let's go into this and let's get into the deck profile. So let's start off with the Pokemon themselves. For Pokemon, we run four Sprigatito. Sprigatito is the main basic Pokemon for the- hold on, let me- let me change this lighting. Uh, Sprigatito is the main basic Pokemon for the deck. It has the Gather Sunlight attack, which is the one you will be using most of the time. It allows you to search for two basic energy cards. It's pretty decent, it allows you to thin out your deck a little bit so that your next turn you can top deck into something hopefully better. And then we run the One Floor Gato because we run TM Evolution in here, and sometimes you can't get Rare Candy. So it's nice to get Florgato. Now Florgato here also has some decent attacks, attacks for one energy, which is not that bad. We also run three Miascarada EX. Now uh, Miascarada EX allows you to discard an energy card, a grass energy card to do 30 damage to one of your uh, or is it three damage counters? It puts three damage counters on something. It doesn't do three, th or 30 damage. So keep that in mind. It goes through all bench protection, um, I believe. Does it go through Rabsco? I don't know. We're not running Rabsco in this list, so I wouldn't know. Um, I was thinking about it, but it's just so brick. Like, it's just so brick. <laughs> so we're running three. Uh, four is just a little bit... Uh, listen, we're, we're, tight on, we're tight on deck space here, so we're trying to save as much deck space as possible. Now, for a draw engine... That's for the main uh, attackers in this deck. Now for the main draw engine, we run two B Doof, two B Barrel. Uh, I only have one of the bench protection ones, so I only run one of the bench protection one. Uh, if I had two, I'd buy two. Uh, we have, yeah, this is what's going on. We use B Barrel as a draw engine for this deck. I don't think anything else is really good. To make the deck function, we run two Arceus's, two Arceus V Star. Um, I was running one one before. And it feels horrible when you don't have Arceus because you just kind of lose. So so I bumped it up to two. Um, I really like the 2-2 two -two Arceus because it makes sure that you have it every game. And plus having some discard bait is not that bad. So, you know, we have those. Now let's get into the one ofs in the deck. Uh, we have one Shaman, one Radiant Alakazam, and one Mana Feet. Now you may be wondering, who the fuck is this over here on the left? This is a new card from Temporal Forces. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody is going very under the radar, but listen, she eats. So she has 70 HP, searchable for, by Buddy Poffin. Free retreat, keep that in mind. Attacks for, attacks for 60 for one energy, and it's a snipe on Rubox Pokemon. Like, listen, I'm not saying this card's like a must include in Meowskarada, but I'm saying it's worth playing around with and so far having a pivot in Meowskarada has been really good and I've had it multiple times where um, I really want to put damage on the board but I don't have enough attack or I don't have the cards to attack with Meowskarada but I, I, I managed to get in grass energy and I can you know attack with this and snipe something for 60 damage and that 60 damage listen you can move it away later into other Pokemon whoever's in the active you can move it up for Meowskarada and you can hit for big damage. So that's my main thought process with the Shaman. The Shaman is really, really nice from what I've seen, and I don't think I'm going to be removing it come set release. So yeah, the Temple of Forces Shaman is excellent in this deck from what I have played. Maybe I will remove it later, but for right now, I think that it's, I think that's fire. 
We also have Radiant Alakazam. Now this is a must include in Masquerada. If you're playing any other Radiant, you might as well play a different deck because clearly Masquerada is not for you. But anyway, Radiant Alakazam is fire. Uh, you get to move away all the damage counters or two damage counters per turn. It's pretty, pretty, pretty good. I must say, I wish they would introduce, like where is, where's that one Reuniclus where you can move as many damage counters as you want? What, what happened to that? Huh? Why are we stuck with this? <laughs> kidding uh alakazam being a basic is really strong and then i run one manaphy honestly i was thinking about running the rabska because it's grass type and you can be uh well the Rab grass type really doesn't add anything but uh, you can tm's evolution or tm evolution into it girl it's just not worth it like honestly it's just really not worth it it's it's like you can prize one of the pieces this one is searchable by heavy ball like i don't know like i just think manaphy is so much better you can run jirachi if you want I just, I don't play uh, at locals or anything. I just play with my friends at my dinner table and whatever. <laughs> and we run, we run pretty good deck lists, like pretty optimized deck lists, but uh, I don't play against anyone with Gloss Box. So yeah, I, I never really have the reason to put Jirachi in the deck. I'm sure that other people would want to. Anyways, let's move on to supporters. You're, you're free to run Jirachi if you want to. If I was bringing him to or this deck to locals or something, I would probably run a Jirachi. I don't know what the hell I take out of the deck, but I would take out something. Also, this deck loses to Lost Tina. I just hope that you guys know that because uh, every single time I fight against Lost Tina, I lose. Yay. I don't know if I'm playing the matchup wrong, though, to be honest. But maybe there is no win. I've heard that the matchup sucks. So, anyways, moving on to supporters. I run four Iono in this deck. I used to not run Iono. It was actually so troll. Like, it's actually so troll. I was inting you all by not running Iono. <laughs> Iono is just so good in this deck. Like, seriously, it's just so good. Uh, being able to... Because, uh, like, a lot of time early, like, you're running a stage two deck. Like, you're going to be behind a lot. So, being able to uh, get your opponent, you know, lower hand size so that they can't really uh, get back from you or can't get back at you, you know, it's pretty good. I then run three Arvin. Uh, you can run four Arvin, to be honest. Like, you could swap one for the other. You can run four Arvin, three I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't question it, to be honest. I just don't like Arvin. Like, for, for, if I'm playing a supporter for turn, I don't like playing Arvin. Like, I'd rather draw cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I do run one of the Morty's Conviction. Now, listen. You may be you may be side-eyeing this. You may be side-eyeing this because you're like, mm, I don't see. But in my last game I played with this deck, I played against Charizard. EX and I was my bad list. I was about to lose. I was about to lose. I was about to lose and then I drew this for turn and I used it discard one draw five I drew into rare candy and we also got a double turbo energy like don't play with me like this card is fire <laughs> I like the Morty's conviction. Okay, you can draw five like that is so strong um maybe it's just better to run research no it, it's not better to run research because i would have discarded my rare candy that was already in my hand okay so no research would not have done that the same thing in that situation it is actually just morty conviction diff and i ended up winning the game so yeah from there we won run uh we run one boss uh we don't need to run more than more than one boss and you guys will see why i have multiple uh, ways of gusting in this deck so for our A-Spec for the deck, we run one Prime Catcher. Of course, of course we run Prime Catcher. We run, we place damage counters on things throughout the game. Of course, we want to gust things into the active. And the switch on it is actually not bad because you can swap into who? Into Shaman. And then you can retreat back into Miascarada if you only have one available. So um, Shaman's really good in this deck if you haven't noticed yet. Anyways, on to our items. I run four Ultra Ball because we need to get Evolutions, and Evolution sucks right now in the format, or Evolution Search sucks right now, and so we only have Ultra Ball or fucking Capturing Aroma or Great Ball. So, we're running four Ultra Ball. We run two Nest Balls so that we can get Radiant Alakazam and, um, what's his face? RCS V from the deck. Uh, you really don't need anything else or any other basic search, because we have four Buddy Poth in here. Four Buddy Poth in here to search out our babies from the deck. The Sprigatito, the Manaphy, the Shaman, the Bidu. If we can get them all from the deck. Yes, Shaman is searchable with the Buddy Poth. And I love this card. <laughs> we'll see We'll see how it, how it goes in the long run. For, for right now, I'm really liking the Shaman. Uh, we'll see how the Miascarada people feel about Shaman as time goes on. I run four rare candy. I see some people running three rare candy. Um, I like to question why, because this deck already struggles to function in the first place. So why are you handicapping yourself by running three rare candy instead of four? I just don't understand it, to be honest. For a one-up items that I run, I run energy retrieval because 
it's just not it. Losing all your energies is just not it. I run one Earthling and Vessel so we can get energies from the deck. So that you know if you need to attach energy for turn and use Miascarada's ability in the same turn, you can with Earth and Vessel. I run one Super Rod. Honestly, you could run two. I, I would not be mad at you for running two, honestly. And then we want run one Switch. Is Switch really necessary? Yeah, kinda. Snorlax Stall is still in the format. You probably still want to run the Switch. It's probably worth it. Anyways, moving on to our other trainers. We are on two Artisan as Stadium for Choice, uh, of course, because we need to get our babies out. We need to get set up. We need our we need our Sprigatitos. We need our Bidoofs. Okay, we need to get our stuff ready. And we run the one TM Evolution. TM Evolution is fire in this deck. You can really get going with TM Evolution. Then we have the energies for the deck. I run six grass energy. This is something I just changed recently. So far I've been liking it. I've only played a couple games with it, but so far it, it, it was really nice. I hit my turbos when I needed to hit my turbos. I got my energies when I needed my energies. I really do like this count. I think that it's nice. Uh, you, you get your attacking. So basically the, the idea of this is you use double turbo to attack always and use this for Mias Garden's ability. Um, if you have to attach grass energy for turn, you have to attach grass energy for turn, but uh, you try not to in most situations, and you just try to attach this so that you can uh, use the grass energy for other things. So yeah, that's the deck profile. Um, we're also gonna do some test hands here because why not? I think that test hands are fun, and you guys get to see how the deck functions. So yeah, let's see. So, so far from my testing, Meowscarada is basically at the same level as it was pre-rotation. And Meowscarada is not the best deck, but I do think it's one of the grass, our best grass decks in format. Uh, Post-rotation, Torterra will also be a good grass deck. Well, I'm saying good in heavy quotations. The, Meowscarada and Torterra are probably going to be on the same level of how good they are. Um, in terms of rogue decks, they're just going to be rogue decks. Uh, Torterra might be better. Who knows, because uh, Torterra has more consistency options, it has better Grotto, it has better Torterra, it hits for bit bigger damage. It also has more options. It also draws more with Beautyfly. So I'm not really sure. You know, it's, it's, it's really something that you have to wait and see. I am also building Torterra, so if you guys are interested in my decklist for Torterra, I will be posting that pretty soon. I get my singles in pretty soon, and I always have the proxies on me, okay? Don't play with me, I have the proxies. So, yeah, this is our shuffled deck, and let's see what's going on here. Another deck I'm building from Temporal Forces is going to be Scizor EX, because I think that it's a really fun card. I think people are sleeping on it. All right, let's go. This is our starting hand. For, oh my lord, the deck is just so generous today. Just so very generous. Let's set our prizes here and see what we can get. <clears throat> let's just say we're going second because I like to go second with this deck anyways because I have the uh, TM Evolution. Uh, let's just play two Buddy Poffin, I think. Two Buddy Poffin. Get our things from deck. Let's get Sprigatito Bidoof and another Sprigatito. <clears throat> we have two Bidoof or Barrel here. I'll use the shiny version. I don't want to fill my bench up completely. So I think I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm going to go four. Actually, let me look. What's in the hand? Uh, huh. I think I'm good with just the three. Or just these ones. Actually, let me get a Shaman. Do we have a Shaman in the deck? We can get a Shaman off of the Buddy Pop. I have a feeling it's prized. I have a feeling it's prized. Girl, I just wanted to show off the goddamn Shaman. Let's get a Mana Fee just for decoration. Just in case. We'll say we're fighting, I don't know, Chim Power Gold Dango. You know, let's just say that. So now, I'm going to do this. Oh, this goes over here. I'm sorry. We're going to attach the evolution here, attach an energy here. Uh, I kind of want a Morty Conviction away the Earthen Vessel, to be honest. Actually, let's take back this energy attachment. That was stupid. Uh, Earth and Vessel getting rid of this to get two energies from the deck. 
Oh, that's not an energy. Get these from the deck. Put this away. Then we will Morty's Conviction. Getting rid of an energy. Um, we did go second, so okay, let's use estimation here. Most decks in the format you usually want to bench two to three Pokemon, so let's just do draw three. Why not? One, two, three. Not bad, not bad. We will attach this for turn. And we do have Miascarada next turn. So let's use TM Devolution to end the turn. Go into a Bibero back here. Do we have Florgato in the deck? We should. Nope. We do not. It's fake. Whatever. We got a big barrel. Ooh, one check. One more check. One more check. Just to make sure. No Florgato. No Florgato. You guys can run to Florgato if you wish in your run in your list. I've seen it before. I'm sure it works perfectly fine. Uh, just for me, I really hate stage ones in a stage two deck. So yeah, it's just not really it for me. Then, uh, this is a pretty good start, to be honest. We do have a Ray Candy Mascarada in hand. Uh, let's just say, you know, the opponent takes out this. Great. Let's move up this. A draw for turn. We get another Buddy Poffin. Um, let's use it. Getting another Sprigatito down. I don't think we want two Sprigatito down, but we want at least, like, one. There's only one in the deck anyways, so. Get one of those. Then I really do not want to ultra ball away these fools. Actually, I'm just gonna do this. Energy retrieval to get back these cards. And then we can ultra ball them away so that we don't have to ultra ball away. The Prime Catcher, we love to see. I'll get a Masquerada. I would have loved to get a Nest Ball going so we can get an Arceus going turn two, but that didn't end up happening. Do that. Red Candy Meow. Then we will use the Barrel's ability here to draw one, two, three, four. You know, turn two attack is not bad. Turn two attack is not bad. I'm just saying that uh, this hand is awful, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, this would happen if we take a prize card, this would be our hand. Okay, great. That is our first test hand. Let's do another one. All right, test hand numero dos. Let's see how it operates. Oof, not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. I would like to see a Buddy Poffin top deck, but who wouldn't want to see a Buddy, Buddy Poffin top deck? Of course, we're going second. Draw one. You know, I will not complain about this start. <laughs> I just wish that, uh, touch this. I just wish we had more basics in hand, but it is what it is. Can't get basics every time. Pass turn. If this dies, we lose the game. Well, not really. We do this. Buddy Poffin into two different Sprigatitos. Sometimes you don't hit your basics, sometimes you do. It is what it is. And especially with, uh... Oh. Especially with this Brickfest of a deck, um, Yaskarad is just not a good deck. 
So, you know, I try to make the best out of a bad situation. <laughs> try to make the best out of a bad situation. Unfortunately, we have no supporter. So, yeah. At this point, we just have to pass. Uh, it really sucks that this is our... Maybe I should have attached a shaman. Maybe so. Maybe so. Uh, draw for turn. Yeah, it just doesn't get better. You brick sometimes. It is what it is. Moving on to the next test hand. Wow. Would have been nice. <laughs> would have been nice. All right, test hand numero trois. Let's see what it's given. Oh my goodness, it's a blessing from the heavens. <laughs> uh, but this year, it is a blessing from the heavens. Let's go. We are going second, of course. Uh, let's put an Arceus down. Double buddy. We're looking for Shaman Bidoof. Double Sprig. Here we go. Unfortunately, we can't really do... Oh, sorry. I am so sorry, you guys. Can't really do anything after the Buddy Poffins other than attach, which I do believe I am going to attach. Depending on who, I like, obviously, this is just a test hand scenario, so I'm not really sure uh, what I would be fighting. Like, sometimes I would want to preserve the Manaphy, but in this instance, I'm just not going to preserve the Manaphy, and I'm still instead going to attach the Shaman. Because I'm uh, I'm hoping to get double turbo to attach to these people. Uh, if you guys want to, you know, attach Grass Energies to these guys instead, and then hope to get a Grass Energy to attach, I'm hoping to get just the double turbo. So we're going to have to pass turn here, and let's just say they kill the Manaphy, okay? We're going to put up this... And draw for turn. You know, it's just it's just built different. Like I'm sorry, but my deck list is just built different. Like I just <laughs> like I'm just built different. Like I don't know what to say. And you guys can't say that. Hold on. One, two, three, four. It's literally just built different. It's actually fucking built different. Like it's just so fucking built different. I, I'm sorry, but you all can never. <laughs> <laughs> it's just built different, Starbirth. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get an Iono and a double turbo. <laughs> uh, I'm having a great time with this deck, you guys. I love to just hit, you know? I love just hitting. I just I just hit. Like I just hit. <laughs> Use this. Uh, let's go ahead and Iono, put the super rod to the bottom of the deck because we don't need it now. After we lose the Miascaradas, then maybe we'll want it. Put the Sayona back over here. And this is what we are cooking with. Yeah, damn. Uh, great, great retreat option here with Mr. Shaman. Could you imagine if it was a different Pokemon? Uh, yeah, wow. And we have this for hand. We could have Prime Crunchered something. We swing at something. Do we have an energy in hand? We do not. Let's just swing at something. Let's say we take a KO. Why not? Break heavy. We have another. We have another Meowth in hand. Just saying, deck's built different. Just, just the deck is built different. <laughs> so that's gonna conclude uh, the deck profile for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you guys are going to be playing Miascarada after rotation. I think that more people need to give this deck a try. Uh, grass deserves more. Guys, let's hope that Sinistrat and Ogre Pond are good. <laughs> okay, they revealed um, Diplin, and it's not a grass type, it's a dragon type supporter. Uh, sadness. 
and uh, we're still waiting for the Sinistar reveal. This is very hateful, actually. They revealed every other card from the front of that fucking set, except for Sinistar. It's very hateful. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe for more content. This is the list that I'm working on. Of course, it's not perfect, but uh, I really been I really been liking it. I'm just saying, it turned to attack two out of three games on a stage two deck is just not bad. It's just not bad. Like Charizard, Charizard wishes. You know what I mean? I'm kidding. Charizard can do that in its sleep but you know mascara is not charizard so i make the best out of a bad situation <laughs> and uh yeah this is the deck that i love the most in the tcg at the moment so uh if you're a mascara uh, lover then go ahead and click that like button because listen we're cooking over here we are cooking over here on the one sock uh, that one sock channel we're trying to make all these decks great and you know, now that rotation's coming, a lot of new cards are coming. I'm gonna be uploading my thoughts on the new cards in the new set. A lot of control cards. I don't think it's bad for the game. I think people are overreacting about unfair, uh, unfair, what's it called? Unfair stamp. Listen, all I'm saying is Confagrigus really likes unfair stamp. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed, like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you. Bye-bye.